Storm, welcome to the Partner Hand Symmetrical Frame Drum Method and the Thin Line Frame Drum, which I designed for Remo. In this first lesson, I'm going to be showing you how to play this wonderful new drum with a symmetrical approach, the first time this is possible due to the thin frame. In the traditional way of holding a frame drum, notice that my holding hand has quite a job. It has to hold the weight and it also needs to make a clean, nice stroke. It's very challenging to do that. So when we practice in a symmetrical position, and you can work to get your sounds even with both hands, you will discover that when you go back to playing any kind of a drum in the asymmetrical position, which is most Middle Eastern hand drums, you will discover that it is so much easier because now we have liberated the non-dominant hand. Before we begin to make a sound on the drum, I'd like to share with you the correct body posture and hand movements which will energize your drumming practice. The first thing to remember is a nice tall posture. The shoulders are relaxed and the elbows hang directly out of the shoulder sockets. The forearms rotate around this straight line from the tip of the elbow to the tip of the pointing finger. Imagine there's a small weight on the tip of the fourth finger and rotate. And the same with the other hand. The drum is going to sit on the thumb side of each of these first knuckles of the pointing finger and the fourth fingers create one straight line right at the edge of the drum like this and now I'm going to take a little stroll and find that place right at the edge of the drum with the tip of each fourth finger and then with a flick of the wrist I'm going to make a sound. And you want to make each stroke be the same. Here we are walking. I'm right handed, so that's my dominant hand. The treble stroke created by the dominant hand is called tech, and by the non-dominant hand, ka. Now let's become synchronized. Tech, ka, tech, ka, tech, ka, tech, ka. Notice as we walk along like this that we're maintaining a steady, neutral pulse. And now we're going to start to assign value by counting from one to three. Ready, and one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And gradually, the ones become more accented with our voices and our hands. One, two, three, one, two, three. And notice that each one falls on alternating hands. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. We can also use the names of the strokes. Tekka, 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 tekka. And now, try to make each of those accents equal. Tekka, 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 tekka. And the non-accented strokes, they need to be the same also. Be aware of the rotation in your forearms. And now we're going to speed up. And now that you've met Tech and Ka and the nature of three, in the next lesson, you will be introduced to the bass strokes. Thank you for joining me. Bye for now.